Perché è così complicato per i Paesi Bassi, ma anche per altri Paesi europei, ridurre l'inquinamento da azoto? L'ho chiesto a uno dei massimi esponenti olandesi di sostenibilità ambientale. Are these targets too ambitious? No, I don't think that these targets are too ambitious. We want to preserve biodiversity, nature areas, water quality and prevent climate change. And all are affected by nitrogen. And on the other hand, we want to have food production. And you can bring those two more into equilibrium, but then uh, the, the production of meat has to decrease and also we have to change our diets. If you switch more to plant protein, then a lot of the nitrogen problems will uh, recite. But that's a total economy switch. Are EU deadlines realistic? What is underestimated is that agricultural change is a long-term change. And policy needs solutions tomorrow. There should be a proper policy, a long-term policy, uh, which gradually implement, which helps the farmers to switch or, or to reduce uh, with major steps that are needed. And that's not in place. Mentre le scadenze continuano a slittare, nei Paesi Bassi e nel resto d'Europa il costo dell'inazione cresce, per gli agricoltori, per gli ecosistemi e per l'agenda verde europea. Resta da chiedersi se il cambiamento arriverà in tempo e a quale prezzo.